are living. So let's say you're traveling to mom for Mother's Day. What are you going to bring for her this year? Flowers are great. Jewelry is wonderful. But how about a home-cooked meal, a picnic breakfast, if you will? Hmm, what exactly is a picnic breakfast? It's where you show up at mom's house with everything you need to make a great morning meal. Nora Murphy of NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com is going to show us this unique idea and how to put it all into play. It's all in the basket. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Nora Murphy's Country House in Newtown, Connecticut. Nora, nice to see you. Hi, good to see you. Happy Welcome. Mother's Day. Thank you. We are making a beautiful Mother's Day basket. This is yes. going to be the breakfast for mom. Yes, and you know, all my girlfriends, I mention it to, they're like, oh, I would want a basket like that. Mm -hmm. Typically, mothers just want to be catered to on Mother's Day. Yes, make it special. Make it special, and we can do it with this beautiful idea that you have. The basket is filled with everything you'll need to make a great basket for mom. It's really a, a basket you have from home, and there, there are things that either mom would like to keep, or you just wrap it all up afterwards and you bring it back home. Okay. So we start with, well, first of all, a bouquet of flowers for mom. Uh, every mother needs a bouquet of flowers. So see you've got some beautiful roses. For now, I'm going to put that because that'll be our finishing touch. Okay. So what I did was cover the basket with a tablecloth. Beautiful tablecloth. So, Scott, let's set that up. It has this really pretty embroidered strawberries on it. Isn't that beautiful? Monogrammed napkins are next. I've got four napkins, so if you just want to put them out at different place settings, we'll just make it for four. And you can do it any way you'd like to fold them, or you could fold them like this, so the fringe is like that, which is kind of pretty, actually. And then I brought some bread. And it's already pre-sliced, and we're going to um, use Mom's toaster, and we're going to toast this wonderful, like, flaxseed cranberry pecan bread. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. It's a bread she would not buy for herself. But once it's toasted, if you wouldn't mind opening that up, this is a little toast caddy. And if you wouldn't mind putting a slice in each. So clever. I've never seen a toast caddy in my life. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Where do you get something like that? Um, Nora Murphy, countryhouse.com on our hunt club. Okay. And then, while you're doing that, I have a little white tray because what I'm also bringing is fresh berries to the table. And again, I don't want it, you know, to stain my tablecloth. And then I also have, I, I love Bon Maman, strawberry yeah. preserves. What's also in the basket? Eggs. I ended up getting some farm fresh eggs from our dear friends Gary and Bernadette okay. here in Killingworth, Connecticut. And I wrapped it like my mother would have an old European style. And I have a little whisk. We're going to have scrambled eggs. And the eggs are right here. In a bowl, and it comes complete, and you're ready to go. And we're ready to go. We'll just get a frying pan going. How about a nice cup of tea? Next, we've got a teapot. This really pretty Moss Rose teapot. If you want to put that up there, please, Scott. And I have sweet little saucers. And I have... Should I give everybody a cup? Yes, please. And Scott, if you wouldn't mind, a plate for each place setting, please. And that's more of the Moss Rose. And Nora, this is like a picnic basket that you're bringing into your mother's home. Yes. Kind of like serving her. So you're showing up with all of the accoutrements. Yes. And, and serving her a wonderful breakfast. Yes, she doesn't have to do anything. And I like that I'm bringing my own little china. I'm bringing, you know, all their, all their favorite things, the jams and... The Prosecco. Oh, beautiful. And freshly squeezed orange juice from Big Y. Isn't that awesome? So we're going to put those into these little dogwood glasses. It's very important. Get the fresh squeezed. Oh, what a difference. What a difference this makes. That's true. It's a little bit more expensive, but go for it. It's Mother's Day. And she's yes. worth it. Nora's also got a picture for the OJ. Perfect. Now, is this stuff that you're going to be leaving behind with Mother, or are you going to be taking it with you? Well, it depends on, on the kind of mom you have. If you have a mom who's like, I don't need all this, then you're bringing it back home. If you have a kind of mom who's like, ooh, I would really love something like that because I wouldn't buy it for myself, then you would leave it for mom. Okay, so perfect. it's very personal. And just two more things to add. We have our beautiful cards on our website, the beautiful note cards that what I would do is write a really special note to my mom and I would leave it for her so when it's time to leave, 
She's got that and some dark chocolate. And some dark chocolate with the card. How beautiful is that? And then the only other thing I want to say that we also have to show everyone is um, my art director, Carol, created these beautiful uh, tags that you can print out, and it's our original photography, so you can't find it anywhere else. You just print it out, you cut it, punch a hole in it. That's my son Connor's photo of those roses. Aren't they amazing? They're absolutely gorgeous. They were in our book. And this is a beautiful thing to just put right on, right on there. How much do these cost to print out? Um, the cost of a piece of paper. The cost of a piece of paper. <laughs> Isn't that great? So enjoy it. And this is the first time we're really using our own photography for the printout, so it's very special. But it's free. It's so nice. It's really good. So it makes that special touch. Little tiny special things. But you've got a beautiful breakfast here for Mom, and she would completely enjoy it if you showed up at the house with us. Yes. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Thank you, Norma. Happy Murphy. Mother's Day. Thank you. What a great idea, right? Show up to mom's house with a basket full of breakfast. She'll love that you put so much attention and time into it as well. Right. And you said the other thing is you take it all home so mom doesn't have any work to Absolutely. do. Absolutely. You take the dirty dishes, <laughs> put them right back in the basket and leave. All right. For more inspirational ideas, you can visit NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com. Thanks, right. Nora. Thanks, Nora.